<clears throat> this is a simple way of doing tie dye, which is something that some people are doing right now for fun, right? So I'm going to show a simple way of doing tie dye with paper towel. And um, what you'll need is paper towel and food dye and a little bit of water. So when you have your supplies ready, you'll need also some rubber bands if you want to try to make some designs. We have food dry, and I have a little bit of water in this ice tray. I also like to use like a medicine dropper to drop the dye on, but you could use a paintbrush. Um, if you wanna use a paintbrush, that works really well too. Okay, so to make, the, make a very, you're sort of more like some different ways of putting dye on, right? You can wrinkle up our paper. I like to use paper towel with this because it really absorbs. It looks, I like the way it comes out. <clears throat> um, and you can put a rubber band around the paper towel, twist it and put a rubber band around it. Or maybe you want to do a, like folding, which is another technique. You could fold your paper towel. You can have, I like to have a little bit, I need, you need a plastic um, protector for your table. Something so that the dye doesn't ruin your table. If that. So I sometimes you could do something like this and tie it up too. Just try out different things, right? To do different ways of tying. Okay, and then this other way I went to it, maybe try one where you where you just um, crumple. Do a crumple and wrap. A fun way to practice this like fine motor skill of trying to get this rubber band to stay on. It's actually kind of a tricky project. Okay, get your colors out. Put some drops in water in your ice cube tray. I have green, red, yellow, and blue. And if I want to use my medicine dropper, I can get little drips, right? And put them on. Drip, drip, drip. That can be a fun way to do it. Just a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. Or you can try it out with your um with a paintbrush. Ooh, it's so cool, right? It turns the, when you have blue and yellow, it makes a green. And we'll do, ooh, here's our red. Our red is kind of pink. Okay, so you keep working on that. You might remember earlier in the year, in the school year, we had a project where we froze 
the ice cubes this way, right? We put food dye in the ice cube tray and then we froze it. And then we made paintings with the ice. That's a really fun project too. It's a super fun project for summer. So we got orange there because I didn't empty the gallo releases because we're adding yellow and make orange. Okay. It's fun to learn how to use suction. You can use your turkey baster to do this. Drip, drip, drip. Okay, keep it simple and use a brush. All right. So we've got all three of our things. Let's check it out. Let's see if it worked. You could let it dry first too. If you wanted. I am too excited. Let's see. Oh boy. So that was our folded one. I wonder if you like it. I like that one. Okay. This is our crumpled one. Ooh, crumpled turned out nice too. Got a lot of orange and green. Hey, orange and green, like our turtle, like a turtle in the story. And then our last one is the one that I tried to do like a starburst. Oh, you can sort of see the starburst a little bit. Okay. So that's my tie-dye demonstration. I hope you have fun trying it out. If you want to do this um, kind of a project with t-shirts, it's really fun too. But the trick is that the the dye doesn't stay in well. Um, I tried it a few different ways. You, uh, I think using vinegar is a really good way to do it if you do want to try it on t-shirts. Um, also, uh, the red seems to come out and stick, stay in the fabric through washing, but the other colors seem to wash out. Um, I think because food dye is really for food, which is a protein, um, it doesn't work so well on plant-based um, fabric. So cotton it won't work for. Um, if you have other things like wool, you could do this kind of a thing with food dye and it would probably work or maybe silk, some other kind of fabrics. Um, so that's it. I am experimenting with a way to do it with using um, turmeric because that seems to stay well in cotton fabric um, and I'll let you know how that works out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, and enjoy the, the colorful art making, right? You, you can decide now. So just like those um, animals that changed their colors, now you can decide, <laughs> actually, if you did the t-shirt, could be like the animals that changed your colors, right? You could dye your shirt and then wash it out and it goes away. <laughs> so um, with the paper towels, you could make them into something else. So I hang them up. Um, it was super fun. All right, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Take care.